Welcome back to Dover International Speedway in Dover, Delaware. The fourth time we've been here this week. <laughs> My goodness. I feel like we live at Dover this week. Mike Edwards in the 14 out there on his qualifying run. First one off the pit lane. Alan Jasper, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a great weekend. To watch Edwards on the first of his two qualifying laps. That's fair, Jake. These are kind of super speedway feel. Edwards should put the first lap time down, and we should start seeing what to compare to here. 27.90. Peter Theriot jumps over top. 28. Goes to the top of the board. William, Mr. Oddball, briefly in second. Justin Horton takes over that second spot. <laughs> I would not recommend trying to push in these. <laughs> they don't look like they line up very good. Mike Edwards, top of the charts in that 14. 27, 5, 3, 4. There he goes, second. Horton to the line, slower on lap two. Montrose, he'll sit fourth. Cody Brown. Drops the seventh is Talon Smith. This beautiful teal and pink machine. Top of the charts. Spencer Gray goes sixth. <laughs> uh, Zach Margison with the nickname of Ryan Newman. <laughs> Never gets old. He's got his Pontiac out there in the tenth spot. Lap two, slightly quicker. Might pick him up a spot. Goes to ninth. Lafayette and Nakia, 13th. Scott Elston, 15th. Patsy Calano, 16th. Blake Giglio, 17th. I wonder if Blake is deliberately trying to start at the back of the field. We'll find out really soon. No, no, he has not. <laughs> Blake all the way to second. Nice job there, Mr. Giglio. And that is everybody that looks to qualify here. The two cars have not gone out on track. Jake from State Farm and Jeremy Clapper Newell looks like they have chosen to start 18th and 19th. Let's see if we have Talon hanging out in the voice chat in the discords. Hopefully he's in one of the driver channels. We can get a quick All chat. All right, everybody. Thank you for yes. coming out to Dover. This is the first of the super speedways, as Listen we to this. will call them in the street stocks. The other one is going to be Charlotte. Charlotte. Yep. There is no heat. <laughs> uh, there is no yellow line rule because, well, there's no yellow line here. <laughs> Don't be dumb if you cause a wreck. Then it's on you. Um, you've got two uh, two extra sets of tires. It's gonna be 40 laps. Um, 50% fuel, like normal. Track is slick. It's over. Have fun. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a quick chat in. Oh my gosh. I sent them. I sent them in the, in, the, in the chat and then they disappeared on me. Talon, I was going to come interview you for your poll and then you ran away. Well, so much for my plans. Talon hopped out of the driver chats. We'll just uh, get ready for the race here. Last 40 seconds ticking off. Oh, he jumped in there again. Let's bring him in. <laughs> Talon, DG in the booth. You got a copy? Hang on. <laughs> Some reason it's not set up right there. we go. Talon, DG in the booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, we got it on pole here by 200 of a second over Blake Giglio. How do we feel about setting the fastest time here and going into the race here? Uh, pole. Pole's not going to be much. It's, it's going to race like a super speed, which is all going to be luck. That is very true, but you never know. I mean, you get the best pit stall, right? That could help. I guess so. <laughs> all right, but good luck to you. Talon Smith in the 51, getting the pole for tonight's race at Dover. 40 laps in the street stocks, part of the Sidewinder Racing League, the Steed Tombstone Game Farm Street Stock Series, Sunday nights, 9.30 Eastern. Field foreman up on the grid. 
Still waiting for some of our top runners, but a good number of them are out there. Oh my gosh, that's not very helpful. Let's go with this one. Aha. All right, starting lineup time presented by our friends at Labor 12. Labor 12 starting lineup presented by our friends in Labor 12, giving us this awesome music to play for our starting lineups. Talon Smith in the 51, your pole sitter tonight. Blake Giglio, the 16, he'll start in second. Mike Edwards, the 14, Fort Worth screen printing car starts in third. Peter Therio, he'll roll off in the fourth spot. Justin Horton, 67, Bud car starts in the fifth spot. Ian Montrose, Cave RP Chevy starts in sixth. Spencer Gray, that very patriotic number 12, starts seventh. Cody Brown, and Dale Jr. throw back with Pontiac on it, which is kind of confusing. He'll start in the eighth spot. Andrew Floyd, he'll roll off ninth in the other patriotic car painted just like Spencer Gray's. Then Zach Martison in the 55, he'll start in 10th. Christian Delgado in the 69 starts 11th. William Asherbrenner in the 26 starts in 12th. Sully Hans in the 25. Corvette Honda, really confusing, starts in 13th. Nathan Lafayette in 14th. Arca Break Adam in 15th. Scott Razor in 16th. Patsy Catalano 17th. Jeremy Clapper Newell 18th. And Jake from State Farm will roll off in 19th. Whew, we made it. Pace truck dives off. We're getting set for the start of this one. 40 laps. 40 laps from Dover. Green flag is in the air. We are underway. Heard the drivers say this will race like a super speedway. We are here for it. Field dives into turn number one. Kind of like watching low, long legend cars. That's the way they sound, anyway. <laughs> this is the tire squeal. Cody Brown a bit out of shape there. Edwards pushing the 51 of Talon Smith. Trying to get an advantage over Blake Giglio on the front row. May have just touched the apron there in that 51. Blake open up that, opens up that steering wheel, gets a great drive off of turn two. Talk about the top ten cars or so all lumped together. Then a little bit of a gap back to Delgado. Blake Giglio alone up top. Inside line packed up, but they still haven't been able to dispatch of Giglio. That's where it differs from a super speedway. Inside line with three people, one person on the outside line at a super speedway. Inside would take advantage easily. Big move there. What was that? 67 of Horton. Holding off that 12 of Spencer Gray. And Talon Smith just barely beats Giglio to the line there. We have a crash. First caution is out. Comes out on lap five. Looks like maybe Clapper Newell gets into Will Ashbrenner. Turns him back up the track. Clapper Newell gets the 26, turns him down into the four. Nathan Lafayette, nowhere to go. 85 of Scott Elston at the end. Collects into that incident as well. Catalano may have made it through. Let's take another look. Nope, right alongside, not gonna happen. <laughs> Here comes the hook, right down into the four. Four goes into the inside wall as well. Just looked like they'd slowed down enough, but they were in the wreck. <laughs> Scott Elson on pit lane with a smoking motor. He decides to come down now and take any penalty he would get for pitting a lap early. Lots of guys faking the pit road. And <laughs> Ryan Newman wasn't involved, yeah. <laughs> Let's see who's hanging out in team chat now. Talk to Talon, see if we can get a chat with Blake.
Blake, DG, you gotta copy. Stop. Stop what? I said stop. Oh, sound like stop. I'm like, stop what? What'd I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, you what? were out there on the outside by yourself for a lot of that, and uh, no real help there, but you are able to stay side by side that whole time. How were you able to do that? Drift in the corner. Uh, that's basically what we had to do there to stay side by side. So, tires are probably gone, but um, yeah, who cares? Having fun, right? Maybe we'll see. We're gonna have to see it there. If I can get to the by this guy, we'll have a great race. It's a yard pass. Sam four. Good luck, these are. Blake Giglio in the sixteen, having a chat with us. Mike Edwards in the fourteen, driving everywhere but the racetrack. Sir, are you using tire hacks? Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> so, what's the story? Why are we driving everywhere but the racetrack? Because I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> bored? bored. It's, only lap, it's only lap seven. How are you already bored? Exactly. It's I'm not leading. That's why I'm bored. Oh, but I've seen you crash from the lead and say you're bored. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got enough before you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh well, we're getting set for the restart what do you think it's going to take to uh, break that dead heat that was the front row there for a while I don't know I uh, went here two seasons ago when we went here and it was not at all this drafty and this close together so uh, kind of just going with it uh, had runs but didn't want to take it three wide but I might soon I'm bored <laughs> alright folks you're here to hear first Mike Edwards had the runs um <laughs> Perfect place to cut him off. <laughs> How are you doing, Jay Winch? Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for the uh, heads up, by the way. I noticed you say that, and that's when I, I quickly minimized it, but did not acknowledge you until now. My bad. So Talon Smith, pole sitter, still out front. Blakey Cleo, started second, still second. There's a lot of that going around. Let's take a look and see if we have had people move up and down. Clapper Newell and Jake from State Farm both up some. And Nathan Lafayette dropping four. So despite what we're seeing, there are some people moving. <laughs> Peter Therio, great restart. Third car right inside line. The lime green and blue machine. That's going to give the advantage to Talon Smith. He's going to clear Giglio. Edwards is going to go with him. Now Therio all the way to the bottom. Edwards blocks that run. Now Talon's under attack from Edwards. Talon finally clears Giglio. Then just like that, Mike Edwards is putting on a show. Side by side for the race lead. Oh, contact. Edwards up the track. There you go. Right there. Giglio gets it to the outside wall. That got a little spicy really fast. I guess we could go with that. We have three wide. Cody Brown on the bottom of it. 67. And Justin Horton. I'm not used to him in 67. It's usually 39 in most of what he runs. And Blake Giglio in the 16 all the way at the top. Now Therio and Smith battle for the lead. This one does look fun. It's almost like the uh, Legends card at Bristol. No oh, contact. Spencer Gray riding the 67 of Horton up the track. Now Giglio looking to make it three wide there. I don't think he quite has the nose there. Talon Smith's been able to hold off there you go for the lead for now. Margison with a blink. There you go with a push from Edwards. Mounting that challenge for the lead once again. Cody Brown in the fifth spot now. Gonna push Edwards can give to Therio. Oh, 
And Town Smith doing an impressive job on that outside line. But Mikey was about to make it three wide there. So it's like, going to get interesting in one. Oh, the 12. Big slide out of Spencer Gray going into one. Dario edges out ahead, but I don't know, it was very close on that one. <laughs> very close to who led that lap. There you go, takes a short way around, and then Talon Smith takes that outside line momentum. Seems like no one can get an edge. Drift through the pack a little bit. So we watch the side by side battle. We have Mike Edwards, Cody Brown, Ian Montrose, your top five. Then you have Margison, Giglio, Gray, Hans, Floyd, your top ten. The side by side battle over the lead just will not go away. Will Asherbrenner on pit lane, four laps down. Struggle for the 26 car here tonight. Edwards going to go make a three wide for the lead. Why not? Hopefully everyone knows. Seems like they do. See how they come off of the corner thrill three wide. Not, not as, uh, not what they wanted to do. Is there you bailed out of that? Matros and Brown. Brown on that low side. Matros up high. They're wrecking in the background. Big wreck. The Andrew Floyd may have been where that started. It's one of those two patriotic cars. It's around Catalano. See the 12 ahead gets up and out of the throttle. The 11 tries to catch it. And then 67, when he tries to lay off of the 11, the 69 pushes into the 67. And that sets off the accident. There's nowhere to go. Bama fan, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Watch this once again. See a check up there from the 25. The 12 checks up a bit. And the 11 Gets a bit out of shape, and the 67 tries to lay off that back bumper, but the Bush's Beans Christian Delgado machine pushed up into both of them and turned them around. Pit stops. Iamanchos has decided not to partake. Spencer Gray, Clapper Newell, Patsy Catalano. Jake from State Farm all stay out. Talon Smith, pole sitter, is on pit road. Now it'll get interesting. We're going to unmute the driver chat. Let the drivers have some say in what's going on. I'm sorry, Talon, but every time I hear your name, my first thought is, do the chickens have large talons? If you don't know what that reference is, you probably don't watch as stupid as crap as I do. <laughs> Montrose, your leader in the one. Let's see if we have a chat with him. Ian, DG, you got a copy? Gonna have you sir. Me, Justin. I'm gonna say hello. Well, sir, what's the strategy here? Can you make it the whole way on uh, one set of tires and tank of gas, or do you have to pit? We probably can't make it on. Well, we probably could, but not leading, <laughs> I don't think. Um, I just wanted to stay out because the tires were bad, but they weren't. They didn't feel too bad, but uh, we'll give it one more stint and see how it goes. Lap led, which is good, so I don't, know. I don't know if that makes a difference in this one, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes from the front. Well, the car looks good leading. We'll, we'll give you that. 
Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll take it when we can, and, uh, you know, the strike's been kind of weird, like, you try to build a run on people, and it never quite pans out the way you want it to, so... Yeah, we'll see what it's like from the front. We've got plenty of fuel, at least, but, uh, the tires... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they uh, fare up. Things not panning out the way you want them to is kind of the story of my life. Yeah, this is the SRL way, but it's okay. You know, like <laughs> every so often we get, you know, we strike gold. So hopefully that's the night. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> right, good luck. Take care. Mantra's leading in the one car right now. Let's see if we see the 12 hanging out. We do. Spencer, DG, you got a copy? Hey, yeah, what's up? Not a whole lot. Sitting there in the second spot in that number 12 patriotic machine. How do we feel about the race so far? Well, it's a, it's been a little chaotic, but uh figure I wasn't getting anywhere doing what everyone else is doing, so we'll just stay out and see what happens. It's hand full. Good luck to you. Hey, thank you. Spencer Gray in that 12. Just trying to be a little contrarian, Brad Keselowski style. You see the pole sitter, Talon Smith, after coming down pit lane. Fourth place there. 11 seconds stop for him and Edwards. 13 for Cody. 21 for Therio, Hans, Delgado, Giglio, Horton on back. Looks like those guys took a set of tires. Some others did not. And went for the track position. It works our way down to turn three. Getting set to go back racing. Already over half the race ticked off. Montrose and Gray will lead us to the restart. Montrose gets on that gas pedal. Back underway at Dover. Spencer Gray under attack from Talon Smith. Jake from State Farm, the 56 on the inside. Talon went around his outside. Looks like Talon's trying to keep it high. Edwards definitely wanting to go to the bottom, so he gets damn near into the wall. Hello, Dan. Jake drifting back just a bit. Cody Brown, 17 is three wide with the 25 and 16. Getting tight. Getting very tight. Watcho's continuing to lead. Edwards not letting the 12 come down on him. Forces the 12 up the track. Stacks up the guys behind him. Dario gets a little help turning. <laughs> 25 into his back bumper. That's Sully Hans. The top two, side by side, Montrose and Talon Smith. Montrose is going to come up the track right into Talon. They're both going to go into the wall. And that'll bring out the caution. The leader's crashing. Lap 27. I don't know if Montrose came up. Talon came down. Let's watch from the far chase and figure it out. Dude, I didn't think I was going to make it through that one. <laughs> Rip indeed. Here we go. Montrose comes off turn four. And drifts up and then Netco does the rest. Definitely a little bit of a pinch from Talon, but not much. Should have been able to be just fine there. But unfortunately, not so much. Just the slightest bit of net code hooks Montrose right here. See, so it starts turning him before he's ready to open up the wheel. And it just creates a mess. Lucky dog on the outside. Ash Brenner gets to make up one of those mini laps he's down. So that hands Mike Edwards the lead. 
Dario now in second. Spencer Gray third. Blake Eaglio is up to fourth. Sully Hans fifth. Cody Brown sixth. Nathan Lafayette seventh. Justin Horton eighth. Patsy Catalano ninth. And Margison in tenth. I keep wanting to just read the prompter and be like, that's Ryan Newman. <laughs> It's not Ryan Newman. It's Jack Marges. That's because it is Ryan Newman. No. Look on your car. Your car doesn't say Ryan Newman. See? Give it time. It will. It will. It will. Adam, Keep... get on that tough shot. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I want a picture of Ryan Newman's face on my hood. That too. I was just going by the name over the window. <laughs> it's called netcode. We I can't control netcode. You could just say something though instead of being silent. I, I sense aggression. Feed me. Feed me what? <laughs> Arby's. Where's the beef? The beef is right there. Wow. So. The beef isn't even real. Arby's is really disgusting. Clearly, you've gone to the wrong Arby's. <laughs> Quick, yeah, I did. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Every Arby's is terrible. Don't even try to debate it. Everyone normal knows it's true. It's actually not true. Arby's, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Arby's in the 90s was the shit. I disagree. Arby's is good. Arby's is overpriced. The reason why nobody other than Arby's puts out commercials for Arby's, no one will let them even touch them as a sponsor, even if they're paying. What? <laughs> they don't even let the MILB, or like the United States, like soccer or whatever it is, even sponsor them. You talking about the USSL? Or the USL? I mean, soccer's and Arby doesn't, doesn't really go together. Like, hey now. Like soccer and Olive Garden, yes, but. Uh, if you can't get an MILB team to have Arby's as a pay for a sponsor, then no one wants Arby's. I'm not sure how we got on this conversation. <laughs> I think they just want beef emotes in chat. That that's got to be it. <laughs> well done, Cleaver. <laughs> well done. Ugh, you can tell I'm fighting off a cold or something. I'm just like, blah. <laughs> but I'm still here for you guys, damn it. Ugh. I'm all snotty. Trying to fight through it. Screw you, cold. We got racing to do. <laughs> here we go back to green flag racing. Front row is Edwards and Therio. Edwards gets a jump with Giglio. He's probably going to give Blake a black flag because he's on the inside when I was picking one on the top. Probably. Yeah, that should be cleared. So if you did get one, I think you said you did. So Edwards gets a great jump, brings Gilly up to second, Dario falls to third, Cody Brown in fourth, Spencer Gray in fifth, Cody trying to block the advances Did up to 12, the 12 just wanting to go lower. Did you get one, Blake? Oh, shot from the 25 into the 12, the 12 gets into the 17, 17's going to come right back up into the 12 and destroys him. So 25 into the 12, 12 into the 17, 17 goes around, back up into the 12. And we are back under caution. Riding right there with that one. Watch the 25, the Corvette. That the white, will be reviewed after the race. White and lime green. Watch him come down into the back of the 12, right there. 12 gets into the 17, 17 gets turned, and then boom. Heard about wrecking a guy with Jeep. Sorry about that check up there, Ren. Hey. Sorry, sorry, I was literally on full break, so I can send you the clip if you need. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be needing that clip. I'm gonna be needing that one. What? <laughs> is this is what life is divulged to. Okay, I got the clip. I didn't try to run into you, even though. Jayna just hit me up. This is what life is come to. Man. We're gonna send clips. Sorry, you weren't loud enough. I couldn't understand you. What? <laughs> That was pretty bad, man. Lucky dog high. The lucky dog is high. He's telling the lucky dog. Ready to pop. Is Razor the lucky dog? Who's the lucky dog? Looks like Razor. Somebody putting debris on the track. Razor is the lucky dog. Right. None of these conversations make any sense, Cody. No, no, hey, Ian, you know they passed that, right? That doesn't work anymore. He was hitting the cone. He was right in the cone grass. on the track for debris. We got debris. Looks like Talon Smith may have called it a night. 51 car disappeared from the track. 19 cars started this race. Pole sitter Talon Smith, the only one out. Currently scored 17. There's enough laps he could actually fall all the way down to last. Where's the beef? One of these days, that's going to be a solid cone, and it's going to destroy a car. <laughs> oh, that should be the April Fool's that joke. cone had a wife and two kids at home that he had to support, okay? April Fool's iRacing should just make all of the cones just suddenly, like, concrete. And you just took that. You just took his life. It was nothing. God, that'd be funny. <laughs> Mike Edwards leads in the fourth team. Blake Iglio is second. Peter Theriot is third. Sully Hans in fourth. Justin Horton fifth. Nathan Lafayette sixth. Zach Margison seventh. Patsy Catalano eighth. Jeremy Clapper Newell ninth. Andrew Floyd tenth. Ian Montrose eleventh. Adam Crozier twelfth. Jake Lawrence thirteenth. Christian Delgado fourteenth. Cody Brown fifteenth. Spencer Gray sixteenth. And soon to be Razor Scott Hell Razor in. Uh, 17th and Will Ashburner 18th. We're not there yet. They gotta make it a flaps to pass the 51 of Talon Smith. Nice out of that pace truck. We're getting closer. Going re racing, re racing, restarting. <laughs> Go back racing. Words are hard when you're druggied. Let's find Blake. Real quick, because Blake's always fun. Blake! Oh, uh, hi! You go in? Oh, we're going to win, all right. 10 for good luck, bye! He had no idea what to say after that. <laughs> He's like, oh, what just happened? <laughs> I don't even blame him. Don't even blame him. Hi, Clapper. Hi. Good luck, Clapper. Good, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Here we go. Mike Edwards, back on that gas pedal. We are back underway from Dover. Laps winding down. Four to go. Four laps remaining. Edwards trying to hold off Giglio. Bleak. Trying to get to the bottom, Edwards just not wanting to give it to him. Blake not wanting to take no for an answer. They are very pushy, pushy. RG Bargy. Edwards leads that lap. Giglio's got a short way around, though. Dario 
Trying to close it on Edwards. Lots of cars protecting the bottom now. Blake's going to slide up and give a door bump to the 14. Another door bump to the 14. Edwards leads that lap. Two to go. I think the bumps are going to get bigger <laughs> as we get closer to the end of this. A lap and a half to go. There you go, pushing the 14 into the corner. Edwards trying to pin Giglio down. Edwards takes the white flag in the 14. Giglio may have got a little contact on the 25 into the corner. Turns the 16 up a little bit. On the outside, Dario trying to push Edwards. Gets a good run down into turn number three. Blake still in there. Bouncing it right down on the apron. There's contact. There's more contact. There's even more contact. Mike Edwards wins that race. Blake Giglio, I believe, gets second. Therio and Hans really close for a third. I think Therio picked that up over Hans. Mike Edwards gets the win at Dover. That was entertaining. All right. Top three to the waiting room for interviews. If you have any protests, you have 24 hours starting now to submit them to me via voice or via uh, DM. There you go. This is the dirt, dirt, the street stock race, okay. Steve Tombstone Game Farm Street Stock Series. Mike Edwards picking up the win at Dover in the 14. Watch him do his burnouts there to the start finish. If we can get the top three to the waiting room, let's go ahead. And bring in Mike Edwards. Always with victory burnouts because that's just fun. Well, Mikey you pulled that off. How'd you get that done? I uh, don't know. <laughs> oh, the that answer. The answer is a whole lot of pushing from Peter Therio. Yeah, it looks like Blake was getting pushed in the corners, and I was getting pushed on the exit, which which helped a lot. And I uh, had to pinch pinch Blake like crazy. Yeah, you were holding him down really low, and then it's impressive the two of you didn't end up in the wall. Yeah, I knew who I was racing against, so I knew he was one of the few that could probably hold it. So I had to pinch him. It's kind of the only way I could do it. Sam Four, congrats on that victory. You got the Friends Family as sponsor shout outs for us tonight. Yep, Fort Worth Screen Printing, EPI, KVRP, Labor 12, Low Gains, Autism Awareness. Uh, I think I got them all. Beautiful. Thank you for making the sexy paint. Beautiful. All right, bud. Congrats on that awesome win tonight at Dover, and we will see you in the next race. Thank you. Go pick up Blake Giglio in the 16. Blake, DG, you got a copy? Yo, yo. Well, third interview of the night. You got to do something right, right? Well, what did you maybe need to hold off Mike Edwards there at the end? I just needed some help, man. I, I had no help on the bottom. Uh, it's all right, though, right? We almost won still. We did wreck it. I think I yeah, clipped a little bit there and we got up into the 14, and then we all died. <laughs> so. <laughs> it was entertaining. Yeah, well, I mean, it was fun. Like, I just went on my face the whole time, and I was in DC with Mike, and I told him, I said, listen, I'm gonna, don't leave the bottom open, because I'm going to drive through you. Leave it open. <laughs> and, uh, no, nah, he, he did a good job there defending, and I'm, I'm glad that one of us got the win here tonight. Yeah, you really forced the issue to even get position on the bottom, which was impressive. And then uh, I was shocked you didn't wreck there. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, he I was... told you you wrecked your checkers. He left about a Camaro's width down at the bottom on the backstretch, and you still pushed it down there and got the car underneath him. It was awesome. Yeah, man, I think the tires really helped that I took. I took four. He had two, I think. So the four were really helping. I was, I don't know, looking back at it, I kind of wish I went to the high side. You have more control up there, I feel like. But at the end of the day, I'll take it second place. Going to get some points back on the point lead, and hopefully can uh, win the championship here. Tim Four, congrats on that second place run tonight. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Blake Giglio getting that second place tonight. Now we'll go pick up the 28 slash 30. A feeder there, yo. He's 28 in this series. Pater, DG, you got a copy? Yeah, I got you, DG. Well, heck of a run there for you. And uh, push Mikey right on out to that win. And brought yourself home a third finish. And uh, what did you think coming to the line as everybody was starting to wreck? Did you think maybe you had a shot at it or no? Uh, not really. Um, I 
I knew in the on the top side there that if we started wrecking or if they got together in front of me, I was basically stuck. Like that was the that was the the downside. Like the bottom lane wasn't quite moving as good there at the end because Blake didn't have a ton of help. But like the top side, it was it. I mean, it it was faster there, but I was kind of putting myself in a bad spot, and we did end up getting together there. Me and Blake had a bit of net code, and uh, it kind of sent him into into Michael, but. I mean, I had a lot of fun there, and um, I couldn't really go anywhere, so I was just like, I'll just push this top lane here and try and get it moving and get some good points. And Sam, before we get the friends, family, and sponsor shoutouts for us tonight. Yep, I got to thank uh, Team the Bean Team, and uh, Justin Horton was the only other driver to show up tonight from our team, but very happy to have him come out here. Um, got to thank everybody else on the track, I, I, like especially up front. It was actually really uh, pretty fun racing up front there and uh, pretty respectful for how tight it can get and how tight some of these guys pinch for all of us to kind of hold on to it up towards the front. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, and I got to thank you for, for broadcasting. And then I also got to thank um, Adam for the running the league. 10-4. Good job there, bud. Way to bring it home P3 tonight. And we'll see you in the next race. Thank you. It's Peter Therio bring it home in third. Now let's look at our final results. From Dover in the Sneed Tombstone Game Farm Street Stocks, we have Mike Edwards picking up the win, Blake Giglio, Peter Therio, Sully Hans, Justin Horton, your top five, Ryan Newman, Ian Montrose. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Ryan Newman. That is Zach Marderson, by the way. Ian Montrose, Patsy Catalano. You have Adam Crozier and Cody Brown in the top ten. Then you have Christian Delgado, Andrew Floyd, Spencer Gray, Jake from State Farm, Nathan Lafayette, Jeremy Clapper Newell, Scott Elston, William Ashbrenner, and Talon Smith. That is our finishing results from tonight's race at Dover. Congrats to Edwards and his team in the 14 picking up the win. Uh, we can say this has been iRacing.com. You can head on over there, pick up this track and these cars, and come race with us. We'd love to have you be part of our community. Appreciate each and every one of you being here tonight. Let's look at our final sponsors. Pay the bills and get on out of here for tonight. You guys can enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. We have 911fleetservices.com. Does our Cup Series on Wednesday. Cave City Roleplay, our Thursday night Truck Series sponsors. And then we have Fort Worth Screen Printing. They do our Xfinity Series on Tuesday. It's also that Mr. Arca guy, John uh, Garrett, does the stuff over there so awesome people fsm customs does our imsa series on friday along with golden eagle syrup that does our super speedways light of my life candle they give away a candle every tuesday during the xfinity race so come try to win a candle for free m9 setups m9 uh performance they do the modifieds on tuesday sneeze tombstone game farm did this series the street stocks as you saw tonight at dover spit and venom podcast does our arca on monday and then 1023 graphics does our dirt street stocks on tuesday Thank you to each and every one of those groups that helps make everything we do possible and keep it free for the drivers and makes our community worth being in. Appreciate each and every one of you, as we said, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next race.